Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe and please share these out. Uh, today's video, a little bit different. Uh, you guys remember Sharon Tate from the show. I think she was in like five episodes. Um, playing uh, one of the secretaries at the bank. Um, she was also um, one of the ones murdered by uh, the uh, Helter Skelter gang, Charlie Manson and his bunch. Um, here's some facts about her that you may not know. Let's check it out. Uh, she was a beauty, and uh, it was apparent even at a young age. At only four months, she won the Miss Tiny Tot of Dallas pageant. Uh, Sharon's parents had entered her on a whim. Her father was a colonel in the United States Army. Uh, they frequently moved because of this. Sharon even finished high school in Italy, likely giving her a certain cosmopolitan attitude that added to her appeal. Uh, although remembered most for her movie work, Sharon's television work, including that on the Beverly Hillbillies, is considered her best. She was incredibly beautiful, but she did not focus on her looks. Uh, frequently uh, shooing makeup, in fact, she typically used only Vaseline on her lips in her daily life. Uh, she also didn't wear much jewelry. She especially hated rings, as they drew attention to the fact that she often bit her nails. Her sister Deborah always remembered that Sharon had a fresh, clean, light scent due to her favorite bath product, Milk and Pearls. Milk and Pearls, unfortunately, is no longer sold. Elizabeth Taylor supposedly had her removed from the film Sandpiper. Uh, she was just breaking into film, and Elizabeth was not thrilled to share the spotlight with young beauty, even if she had just supposed to play a walk-on role. Sharon's first major role in a movie was The Fearless Vampire Killers, directed by her future home and husband, Roman Polanski. Uh, he was only convinced uh, to cast her after seeing her reaction when he pulled a prank on her. He also very hard on her on the set, supposedly requiring 70 takes of just one scene. And while she was transitioning into movies, she met Jay Sebring, whom she dated for about two years, ending a relationship when he proposed. She learned how to cut hair from her former beau, and they remain, and they re he remained a close friend. Our character in her second movie, Don't Make Waves, inspired the Malibu Barbie doll. Sharon nearly died uh, performing a stunt for Don't Make Waves. Uh, she jumped from a plane into a pool wearing a parachute for safety. When the parachute deployed at the wrong time, it covered the pool, draping Sharon beneath. Uh, Sharon often downplayed her own beauty once saying, I think I'm the most unsexy thing that ever was. I'm open for everything, of course, but I'm certainly not aware of being sexy. Uh, she and Roman Polanski were married in 68, three years after they met. She wore a white mini dress to her wedding. She was outspoken, once calling Don't Make Waves a terrible movie. Film received terrible reviews when it was released, although it was enjoyed a slight resurgent in the recent years. Uh, she was a smoker, but Polanski thought it was a nasty habit. She often hid her smoking from him. Uh, she was often photographed by Sharok Hatami, a friend as well as photographer. He was instrumental in tying Man Charles Manson to the murders at the trial. Sharon's most enduring role of that of Jennifer North in the Valley of the Dolls. She said she felt a kinship with her character who was primarily loved for her body and beauty. Uh, friends of Sharon spoke highly of her warmth and kind personality, not her beauty. After spending so many years in Europe as a child, she felt more comfortable there, due in part to the less strict gender binaries. Uh, she liked being in a place where men could cry and be open about their feelings without being judged. Uh, Sharon last saw uh, the other Tates, including her sisters and parents, on July 20th, 1969, when they all watched the moon landing together. Such a sad ending to a beautiful life. Um, I just, I, I think it's wild. She's been in, well, I think, five episodes, and she is so tied to the Beverly Hillbillies. 
uh, she did that good a job. Uh, and like I say, the 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 cat people who cast for the hillbillies only picked the best, and they did a really good job with it. Um, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia. Go over there and check that out. And uh, have a great Sunday. Uh, God bless, and I'll be praying for you.